guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames if you're new here be sure to subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell and join the family now guys can you imagine drake and universal music group they are suing for bbl drizzy guys didn't kendrick lamar tell us that this is who drake is drake loves to be cry baby can you imagine you are suing someone under the claims of copyright infringement cases make note the very same drake did a collaboration with sexy red on that bbl drizzy so how do you turn around and then sue someone claiming that you use developers behind a software for training their ai models with labels and unlicensed sound recording after you did a clap back or a distract with sexy red right no disrespect to sexy red because i mean we know that sex red is an industry plant and it is what it is, right? But the point is, this is what Drake does. Drake is a crybaby. How do you do something like this after Drake was the one who basically started this entire AI thing? Didn't Drake use AI Snoop Dogg? Didn't Drake use ai kanye west and now because Dr bbl drizzy is such a hit and because it is an embarrassment to you you try to shave off the embarrassment to the entire world making it seems as though you're not bothered by it and now you want to file a lawsuit lawsuits are not cool in the rap industry lawsuits are not cool in rap battle beef and this is really proving as Kendrick Lamar says, we really have to be careful about who you let into certain categories. And it's not as though Drake is respectful of the industry because when he does these things, you can tell that he's not respectful. He's definitely not. He comes in, he pirates everyone that he can, but when he tries to disrespect someone because that's what he did. He told Metro Booming to go ahead and make some beats and stop wasting his time. And Metro Booming was like, okay, I'll go make some beats. So after Metro Booming made the beats, something that Drake has done before, use a high and a sound that exists. Something that Drake has done before. Something that Drake is so familiar with. You're going to file a lawsuit. You're going to you know, do your little plot behind the scene, round up everyone to say, you know what, we're going to take him down. This is not going to turn out good for Drake. I think that we are officially seeing the ending of Drake's career. And this is why Drake basically deleted everything as it relates to the rock battle beef from his Instagram page. And I believe that by now he has deleted those AI versions that he did as well from his Instagram page because he doesn't want to be held um, accountable for anything. You know, it's as though he's saying, I should trouble you, but you should not trouble me. I should hit on you, but you should not hit back on me, you know? And I'm talking about physical punch. I'm not talking about flirtatious manner, right? No. Let's get into this report. They're saying that the Recording Industry Association of America... The trade group on behalf of labels including Sony Music Entertainment, Yunji Recordings, and Warner Brothers filed two copyright infringement cases against AI companies, Sono, and Uncharted Labs, the developers behind Udio, for training their AI models with the labels unlicensed sound recordings. So basically, again, they're talking about that BBL, Trizzy, that kind of thing, right? No, Udio is the company behind BBL Drizzy, the AI-generated song that went viral last month during Kendrick Lamar and Drake Spat. Udio was founded last year by former Google DeepMind researchers to make it easy for anyone to create emotionally resonant music in an instant. According to the company, in April, it raised $10 million in funding. Meanwhile, Sono raised $125 million in funding last month. So you see, guys, 
there is quite a bit of envy here if you're taking notice. I think that the envy arises from how well these companies have been doing in that short space of time. I believe that Universal Group, Warner Brothers, they're seeing some amount of threat here to their artists because if Metro Booming was able to do something so spontaneous as that, something that people are obsessed with from all genres because we saw everyone from all walks of life, you know, doing their own version of BBL Drizzy. I think that that song has shaken up um, the business um, aspects of things for these record labels. And as such, I believe that there's more than what they're putting to the forefront about this lawsuit. No, they're saying that... Um, Udeal and Sono did not immediately respond to the request for comment. So there's no immediate response. Um, they're saying that Ria CEO, Maria CEO Mitch Glazier said in a statement that the lawsuits are necessary to reinforce the most basic rules of the road for the responsible, responsible, ethical and lawful development of generative AI system and to bring Sonos and Udio blatant infringement to an end. It's the money that they're making that is having these people but hurt. They're saying that he added that the music community is already partnering and collaborating with responsible developers to build sustainable AI, to AI tools that puts artists and songwriters in charge, but unlicensed services can exploit an artist's work without consent or pay setback. So they're just using whatever I believe that they're using whatever they can to their advantage to sue because of this BBL Drizzy. And I also do believe that they see a strong competition going on here with these two AI softwares. I believe that because if you look at the amount of money that they have raised in that short space of time, it's a threat to um, Universal Music Group and it's a threat to Warner Brothers just the same. So this lawsuit is not just for BBL Drizzy. It's basically to dismantle these two AI generated companies. But guys, that's all I have to share in this video with you all. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye guys.